All right, this video tutorial is going to introduce you to arithmetic series, not to be confused with arithmetic sequences. So what we're gonna do is look at how to investigate the sum of an arithmetic series. First of all, let's talk about what a series is. A series is the sum of all the terms in a sequence. So what I've got here is an example of a sequence, a very simple one, two, three, four sequence. The series counterpart would be if I took all of the terms in that sequence and added them together. That's what we call a series. So an arithmetic series, the sum of all terms in a sequence in which each consecutive term shares a common difference, just like an arithmetic sequence, except we're adding all of these terms together. So to find the sum of a series, we can either add all of the numbers in a sequence by hand, and I've put please don't do this because this is messy and takes forever, or we could use these formulae, which is plural of formula, if you didn't know that. What I have here is the sum of the first n terms, is equal to the number of terms divided by two times two times a, which is the first term, same as for an arithmetic sequence. I'm adding n minus one and I'm multiplying by the common difference. It looks very similar to the arithmetic sequence formula. I'm not gonna derive where this comes from in this video, but you could just do a little bit of research if you're interested. And then I have this other formula that works as well. Same thing, some of the first n terms is equal to n over two times a plus tn, where tn is the final term. Okay, so let's look at an example of an arithmetic series. I'm being told here that I've got some, some series with the initial term of two, I've got a common difference of four, and for some reason I'm being given the fact that the tenth term is 38. That's what this says, t10 is 38. I'm looking for the, first, the sum of the first 10 terms. So because we are being given the final term of interest here, the t, the t term, we're gonna use this formula here as opposed to the, the first formula that we looked at. Okay, so that's the, the first thing you need to do is look at what you're given and then, and then pick the correct formula. So that's what I've done here is I'm gonna use this one. Okay, you can see I'm not even using my D term, but I've got my A value, I'm gonna substitute that for A. I've got my T10 term, I'm gonna substitute that in for TN, and I'm just gonna perform this simple calculation, and you're gonna see that I get 200 as the sum of my first 10 terms. So if I took the first 10 terms and add them all together, you'll see that I get 200. You could do this by hand, start at two and add four each time to develop a series and sum all the, the first 10 terms together. Um, don't do that, your teacher will not be very happy with you. Definitely you know, apply these formula, get, get used to using these things, they're very handy. This one here, I've got the first term is negative four, I've got a common difference of, of negative three. If you look at the previous formula that we used, we don't have this TN term. So we're gonna look at this formula here. You can see that I've got my A term, so I've got this guy, I've got my D term. I know the first 10 terms, that's what we're interested in here, so that's gonna be my N value. So really, this is just a matter of substituting everything into that formula. You know, we're gonna use bed mass here. We're gonna multiply these two guys together. We might as well subtract here, call that nine, and then multiply by negative three. When we simplify, we're gonna see that we have negative eight minus 27, I'm multiplying by five, the sum of the first 10 terms of this series would be negative 175. Okay, so two more examples I wanna look at here. I've just written the, the new formula that we're looking at here off to the right. The example here says determine the sum of the first 15 terms for this series. So you can see I'm given some terms here. I'm interested in the sum of the first 15 terms. So thinking about what we're given here, I know the fact that I've got an A value of negative 12. I'm given the fact that I'm looking at the first 15 terms, so that could be my N value. And you can see here that I've got a common difference of what looks like four, I'm adding four each time. So this is really no different than the, the previous example that we looked at. And so, you know, you can just plug and play here, multiply, you can subtract here and multiply by four, and you'll see the sum of the first 15 terms is 240. Okay, so just sort of another example of what we just looked at. This one, however, is a little bit different, a little more complex. The reason that I did this one before this problem is I really just want you to compare the difference between these two problems. This one says, determine the sum of the sequence. You're given a sequence, but you'll notice that you're given the last number. There's some stuff going on in between here. If you look carefully, you can see I'm adding by five each time. So you can assume that I'm going to continue in that pattern, but I don't know what's going on in, in the middle here. What I'm trying to do here is determine the sum of the sequence, but I don't know how many terms I have. So that's gonna be a problem for us. Both of our formula use N, both of these guys have an N in them, but we don't know how many terms we have. We gotta pretty much have to treat this as a sequence, 
and use this formula from our arithmetic sequence study. We're gonna use this formula to determine what n is. This is gonna tell us how many terms we have in this series. So we're gonna pretend that this is a sequence just for a moment. I know the final term is 58, so I'm gonna sub that in for tn. My a value of three. I know the common difference is five. I can use algebra here to solve for n, and that's gonna tell me the number of terms that I have in my series. So between three and 58, if I add five each time, I'm gonna have 12 terms in this series. Now that we know n, I'm gonna pick on the formula that uses tn because I've got the final term. And you can see I've substituted my new n value of 12, I've got my, my a value, my tn value, and I can just calculate the sum of the first 12 terms in that way. So that brings me to the end of this video tutorial. This was arithmetic series. Make sure you know the difference between a series and a sequence or you're gonna start feeling a little confused. Okay, stay tuned for geometric series coming up next. Thanks for watching.